Okay, I'm gonna play some City of Brass in 2022. Why not, right? Because I'm gonna be the fool. Why not? It's really cool. This game's all about the whip. Like, literally, it's all about the whip, and you'll see. So I got a sword, and I got a whip. I remapped the keys, actually, I'm playing with the keyboard to put the whip on the left because it's in the character's left hand. See? It can trigger traps. It has the same reach. I'm talking like, that's like 15 foot. That, that's wild. And you can attack with the sword. You can type 1 or type 2 cut. I'll save the drill. So, this game is very trap heavy. See those spikes there? The whip's so powerful, it can trigger spike traps, which is cool. See that? That's the nectar of time. My character knows what that is. So it's really cool. Did you like Prince of Persia? So you trigger those and run through, because your character knows enough to not walk on the spikes while they're up. Eat open doors. Look, always look at the ground in this game. Take that, Fez. Kill! Now, there's no real benefit to me killing. Well, there is, and I don't have to worry about them anymore. But it's all about the gold, and there's a timer going too. You can actually turn that stuff off if you want. It's all optional. But that's what I really want. Your XP, your progression in this, everything's off the gold, right? Ooh, you can pick things up with the whip too, which is awesome. Break things with the whip. That's a gin. Okay, he's trying to sell me something. This is the main progression in the game. And this is the within this run progression. To rope. I think that rope. I can't afford anything. Curse of lightning. Strap of impact. I remember that one. If you go to the journal, it'll tell you about things you've unlocked. This is one bit of the meta progression. It just tells you what things are. Which is cool. The genies. Ethlon the Hurtler. Yeah, he killed me last time. He, he roasted me in fire. A very funny, Jamie. Ha ha ha. Get some moves. Let's see if you can whip them in the head and stun them. Like, oh my god, why'd you do that? Or you can whip them in their feet and then trip them. <laughs> it's funny. So do, I didn't get XP for that, though, right? My character's about the gold, not about the killing. So I can pick that up. And. Uh, in my right hand. Ouch! See, that's what happens when you get excited. <laughs> I got a little excited and Spike Trap got me. The game's very good about hiding Spike Traps. I can also click Q and pull them. I can pull them into Spike Traps, or in this case, Archer, pull them close to me so I can cut them up. See, Spike Traps are freaking everywhere in this game. And there are also Pit Traps and Sand Traps. Explosive Traps. What are you offering? Oh, he's like, hey man, you know I can turn these traps off for 500 gold. No, settle down, settle down. That guy, just trip him. Cut him up. Oh, fun. You can easily sidestep them. Those right there. Explode! <laughs> let's, see. Can I, let's see. Can I pull that? Probably for the best I can't. That I can pick up and throw. So, pull this guy. Nope. <laughs> That's it. Pull in the trap and bye bye. Very funny. I don't have much gold. I haven't found much. So embarrassed I walked in that spike trap. Just telling you to be careful. It's very easy to get distracted in this game and not watch the ground. That's explosive, see it's warning you. A vase I can throw. Vase. Pick that up and uh, that incendiary. That gold. I can hold a uh, space but jump and mantle over things. There's no fall damage from what I can see. Sand trap that you don't want. We don't want that. Destructible. Some things are destructible. It's worth destroying them because they have guys. Oh, go! They have pretty perfect. I'm worried about the archer. Let's wipe that. Pull the trap, right? <laughs> there we go. You have to remember you can only bypass the. If, you, if I walk on that, it will hit me. I have to trick it. There we go, I so. The character doesn't move very fast. It sidesteps pretty quick. Now you see, I, I'm doing pretty good versus these guys, but... Ah, uh, okay, okay, I managed to jump over it. Good. Pull that back here. No, no. What is that mess? How is that missing? There we go. Well. So I was playing around with those guys. I only got a little bit of money off that. I don't have to kill them. I mean, they're in my way, so I should, right? Alright, so I can crack the whip there. 
That's the brazier. If I manage to, like, if I smash it, yeah, it'll like my fire. Okay, fine. And that arrow there is telling me the way I should go to progress the next area. But I want to get as much gold as I can. A secret passage as well. No fix. Ooh, gold. Treasure. That could be good. I don't know that one. What could it be? Good? Bad? Healing? The curse of grease of quickness. Oh. And that was... I have a, a stick grenade? No, it's a torch. I like it. it it's good. Fast I'm moving now. The grease of quickness. I've never had before. Pick that up. Oops. See, I hit that. That's why I shouldn't have done it. I'm getting so many kills, that's great, but I need money. <laughs> Alright, so that's like a weapon. Pretty cool. Now I can pay for hit points. Okay. Ouch. Yeah, so being healing is rare in this. I have to get out of here. This is oh, this is a stingy first level. I can get that up there, but do I want it? Okay, that's that's another gin offering. Oh, I'm excited there. <laughs> no, it's a very nice melee weapon though. It's another merchant. What is he offering? Rope, flame of sight. Do I have that? Maybe. Uh oh. We use the corners, right? At this point, this mana weapon? Ooh, he some money. This guy, that's a guard. He'll offer a companion. That's a pretty good deal. He's pretty useful. But. What are you offering? Just more. Yeah, I'm just selling. Alright, I gotta get out of here. Follow the arrows. So there's no map, per se. Which I like, actually. Side with this melee weapon here. I have a whip. Use the whip. No? Should be treasure in there. Yep. Pile of money. Give me the money. Give me the money. Give me that one. What's that? It was it was a vase. It was very nice. Yeah. A little risky there. Could have been something. Nah, there it is. Check out the spikes. Walk through the spikes. And get to what's that? <laughs> yeah. It's a Castlevania style hook I can swing, my across, swing myself across. Nice. Okay, so it's going to load up my score here. So you can customize this game a lot. You can turn off the timer. You can give yourself more hit points, which can serves as a difficulty setting. You can make it so your enemies deal less damage. All sorts of things you can do. I'm just playing the base difficulty right now. So be very careful when you first open doors. The game loves the traps right in front doors. You get excited. And that merchant there. Buy insurance? Sure. It's a Ponzi scheme, but why not? I mean, probably give me an extra life. I'm content. I like how I'm doing this far, so I'll keep it. Uh, that money? Ha! Ah. No, uh, sure. Is there another one? There it is. <laughs> That? That shiny? Uh, the door there. I should remind myself I can go that way. Yeah, the chests seem to be the best way to get gold. Yeah. Sure, this sand trap. Ah, oh, yeah, him, him. Okay. okay. Beat this guy up. I can, I can just wish and then wish him to go away. I guess. That's cool. I was trying to beat that guy. I hit trap. Oh god. I don't know where that goes. I'm used to them just opening up into spikes. Yeah, fire is very effective in this game. More. No loot? Pack of monsters? Well, 
seed regeneration as well, obviously. Oh, maybe not obviously, but uh, yeah, it's just a big fall and spikes. Ah, and more spikes. Okay, that was through that area. Hmm. That went that way. See the little trap there? Nasty. So you can jump over that, actually. Ugh. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, I have a ghost turkey. Engage, ghost turkey. Oh, ghost chicken. There we go. What are you offering? The gauntlet of hurling. Those are artifacts as well you can grab. Ow! I was getting cocky there. So what you can do is you actually push F and push them. So you do that if, say, you were next to them and you wanted to push them into a trap. Right? That's a bit tanky. They have heavier armor. They keep coming. No, I just armed them. Nice. That's something else you can do. Dude, the whip is awesome. It's like the best weapon. What are you offering? Pads of silence. Gauntlet of hurling. Leap of stumbling. What's that? Go tell me about it. Upon landing from a great height, the ground shall tremble and the enemies fall. Ugh, it's kind of. So if I get, do a big jump, I can stun people. Down. I mean, I kind of like blade trap there. Yeah, it goes turkey. <laughs> oh, goes chicken. Now they're getting tougher, so I'm igniting this guy. He's still going. Another crazy spike pit trap. Uh, whoa. That's just a pit. So it's, it's gradually getting more and more dangerous. Everywhere. Oh, close. Well, see, they're undead, so the reflex is the kind of trash, thankfully. Not the mine accelerating, they're all right. Uh, so I do like that it's not very linear. It's like you always have different ways you can go. I, know, I think I want to. Ow, why does that actually hit me? I think about this game is you actually can't block. You, your character is very mobile. He doesn't block. He whips, trips, and does all that stuff. He doesn't. He can't block with his uh, saber, or weapon, sword, whatever he has right now. I have insurance, I guess. So if I die, uh, maybe I'll come back. I'll pay for some healing, sure. Uh, can you tell me about it? You use the curative three times total. Ugh, let's go. Sandblasted. Okay. Okay. Right. Now what I can do. Okay, I was kinda hoping I could. Uh, there we go, yeah, you fall in there, buddy. Okay. Where's the money at? Oh, oh that, that, was the, that was a very big jump, but yeah, that's the, that's the thing I got. The stompy boots. Alright, so, I got a oh, little treasure there. Is there a door there? No, nothing I can get down. There it is, hiding. See it? That was very clever. Treasure room. There are hidden treasure rooms. Hmm. Bit of money. Yes, yeah, so that was all entirely optional. <laughs> Boom! I kind of like that. I have to figure out the way to go. You want me? Okay, there we go. It's very good they had the door all barred up like that, and that cause like it makes it very easy to tell they haven't been this way. Yeah. 
The story on this game, in case you're wondering, is, is the cursed city. It's the city of brass, right? And everyone got so cursed, and they made deals with the gym for mortality, but it's probably made them dead, and you know, they're obsessed with gold, and they just, yeah, the gold's really cursed. Well, I don't know if it's cursed or not, but they're heavily cursed. The city is. It's a deliciously physical combat system, all because it's all tied together by the whip. Oh, random. I'll gamble, sure. What did you give me? Hmm. But what did you give me? Maybe it'll show up later, because I've used it before and didn't. Is there anything in there I missed? That, yeah, yeah, I missed that giant golden thing there. Don't miss that. And down here, whatever. Ooh, potion. Yeah, we're out of time. You're right. What is it? Something good? Potion of craze. I don't know that one. Increase the speed of your strikes. Oh, that's pretty cool. No, that's what you for, but alright, I'll take it. So I don't know what happened. Hopefully nothing like it's hopefully it's not like instant game over. Like I'd be okay if it like spawns monsters and stuff, but instant game over is exciting. The strikes are fast. I know it killed me. A dervish. Someone got behind me. Come on, insurance. Ah, you don't know what insurance does. <laughs> I thought it would give me another life. It did not, in fact, give me another life. So that's okay. I have to be more careful. Oh, that's what insurance is. It gives you, you... You're putting out a policy on your own character. That's funny. It doesn't help you at all. It's life insurance. Okay, that was like... Like some, like some kind of injury insurance. No, it's just life insurance. So, what does the gale do? I know what the glacier does. Floods of refutation flow forth, knocking back. It's like a sandstorm around you. That's cool. So, oh, it will destroy barricades too. Yeah, so potions are really cool. So I have to avoid taking damage. I mean, you have to. It seems obvious, but this is something you should really avoid. Don't take damage. Tripped him. And, oh, but it blocks him back too. I don't even have to kill these guys. It seems wrong to wander through, you know, an area and not kill the undead monsters that roam around. So like, I'm supposed to do this, right? I like the gale. It's really cool. It's less distracting than the glacier ones, too. There's a glacier one you can get, so you get like particle, icy particle effect around you all the time. Dude, can you just. Thank you. Just die. Again. Give me that money. Dun dun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like a mantle up. That's it. Dude, way to deal with these guys. Yep, trip. That's the one. What's the best way to deal with them? Ooh, I could have do some little acrobatics there. See, I'm in, I'm in level. Yeah, right, right to the face. Ouch. <laughs> See, the enemies will walk in their their own traps. Or their own traps in the air, which I think is hilarious. Doesn't make sense, right? They should do that. Right, you know, come on, just hold, hold on to the fire, please. And they'll burn. Nice. So it's a very fast and mobile form of fighting, which I like. Because a lot of how, a lot of how games do fighting is wrong is that fighting wrong is that they'll make it too static. Like you'll stand still, trade blows with them. It's not interesting. It's not real fighting. Real fight should be mobile. You're, you're circling the person, trying to get them to trip. Or whatever. Robe of the yeah, I don't know what that is. Vest of the Alliance. Sure, why not? We'll join the Alliance. The horse probably cooler. Turns adversary into ally, but costs you some measure of life. Uh, okay, I don't know how that worked. And what else do I have? What was the whip? Flames of sight. Oh, that's what I was using last time. Use this torch to light your way or set your enemies ablaze. So it's a better saber, pretty much. The whip thing. Is it a whip's not considered weapons? Okay. I thought I got a, a weird whip. It's different colored. Yeah. It's all red. 
reddish now. It's supposed to be the yellow it was, I think. <laughs> Knocked him back. Well, wow, off me. There we go. What? Yeah, sneaky, sneaky. Alright, so yeah, I'll pay for it. I'll pay it. My health didn't go up, though. You scam me? Maybe. Maybe. I mean, it's tempting to run the full clear. Mm. Just get as much gold as you can and move through. I like how the game is getting harder each time, though. Like, the, there weren't these armored archers the first time I was going through. Or the second. But there seems to be more gold, too, which I like. Because that, that's the gateway to more power, right? Got on my right hand. Oh, nice, almost. It's got me. No. Take a fix. Oh, money. Keep an eye on something. No, it's the body. Not exciting. I'll pull you. Really? It seems it only triggers a few, like, right now. That was crap. I don't know why that happened. Whatever. We'll just do this. That works too. Can't set that thing down, unfortunately. What are you offering? Disable traps of 500? Dude, you probably set the things. No! That, that should have tripped him, I don't know why it didn't. Whatever. The whip, I think, needs a little bit of uh, space to work. You gotta draw it back. So you don't wanna do it like point blank, like the sword's like point blank stuff. So I'm noticing after a bit of playing with it. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm getting near the way out. There. Dude, what are you hiding? Oh, and I think if you hit him in the face, it deals more damage, not just with the whip, either. It's a really good game, and I think it's underrated. People forget about it. Yeah, it's mostly about the traps, but... So, you're, you're in, how do you handle the traps? And the enemies are good for those traps as well, right? Huh. It's about the traps and the gold. And... Engage with the enemies who are pretty much mobile traps. Well, it took one unnecessary hit. Not bad. Not bad. I do think the insurance is worth it, even if, yeah, you do just get gold. So we're gonna get Obsidian Generation, of course. I find the exit, yeah. So the levels are getting longer each time. Watch out for traps right beyond the door. It wasn't this time. That time. Buy insurance? You know it, man. The insurance. He sells. He sells the insurance. This is. Okay, there we go. Anyone want to pull into this trap? No, I don't seem so. Yeah, he's got a turban, not a fez. So it must mean he's more powerful. But I'd say the fez is probably the most powerful of all time. Right? Well, should be. Oh, it worked that time. Hmm. Cactor must have like a bag of holding or something. I was holding all these treasures. Or he's hauling around a giant loot bag. <laughs> like an insanely big loot bag. Like, what game was it? Right. That was like a, a big component of the game, the character's loot bag, actually. Huge sack. <laughs> You'd have a kick command or a shove command like you have in this. You'd hit them with your giant sack, which is full of loot. It was Slasher's Keep, actually, did that, which is hilarious. Which is a roguelike, yeah, a action roguelike that came out after this. So that game was perhaps influenced by this one, maybe. The reach on that whip. That is insane. I love it. And this game just nails the whip. Uh, let's, just, let's just loop around. It's cool. It's all kind of traps. The game does make you pay, keep you paying attention. Oh. <laughs> love that. Alright, alright. Ghostly chicken. I engage your senses. I think it's actually fighting them. Just poorly. Uh, 
traps everywhere. I mean, sometimes it can seem like you won't make the jump. You will. Your character jumps pretty high. It's a thief, right? So. In D&D sense, it feels like the thief with quick hands. The, the you know, the thief thief. The thief rogue. <laughs> There I go! What's this? Soul of Ice. Sure. Oh, what's that? A cooling power residing within you, so even the chill of ice has no effect. Oh, that's cool, so I'm going to ice. That's nice. The needles of t the shield of advancing. The needle of tear. Is it a new sword? Oh, yeah. Oh, give me a small sword. See how he's holding it now? It actually is a small sword. See, it's uh, trying to cross section. Interesting. Fast as a viper, but the wounds are only run half as deep. Yeah, because I don't have a, a proper, uh, what do you call it, a scimitar or shamshir. I now have a small sword, which is cool. I'd actually prefer that. Shield of advancing? Sure. What's that? Those who seek to harm you will not last as long as you hold the shield firm. Uh, I don't have it. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, I, I'm not giving up the whip. No way. It's awesome. Come on. So I have a faster attack that's actually. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. I see it's faster, but. Ow. Probably a bit more reach, too, it should, because it's thrust centric. Like, obviously, I prefer my character to actually fight with some kind of form, like, you lunge with this kind of weapon. You wouldn't. In and out, in and out. It's a very angular way of fighting. I suppose the more of a dance you'd have with a. Cutting blade and scimitar. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah, ouch. So I got it. Uh, uh. So that one? Okay. That's nasty. <laughs> I love it. Crack that whip. Shank. And you can a spike. And in and out. In and out. Yeah, like this. Yeah. What's that? It's money. I like money. Puff on the hookah a little bit? No. <laughs> My hashish. Maybe like slow time effect. Maybe they're they too afraid of doing that. We're just limited to potions. Here, that can actually hurt you, by the way. Can I get the goodies here? I do not. All the money. What's here? Oh, no. What's here? Good. There. No feds. Hmm, I have a little time. I'll actually head back. Lots of money. No. And it was this way, this way. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. Stab so hard, stab in half. There's that rust in it. Whoa. Clever game, very clever. Uh, oh, okay, you. I have to run up to that. I take the wish. Maybe you just go away. <laughs> and just do that archer did to me. Come on. Get it out of here. There you go. Pads of silence. Rain of ice. That's that's the ice whip. The gauntlets of thrusting, the pads of silence, I'll buy it all. So you'll see what this whip is. Oh yeah, it's, it's incredibly good. Right, now if I get myself immune to fire, that'd be excellent, because that's the more common element. You see the power I've gained, and no, it's not from kills. Well, it's not directly from kills, but I'm getting power from the kills. Gamble? Sure, why not? Come on, something good, something good. Come on, baby, come on, baby. Rain, rain of attraction. Okay. So maybe the last time I just didn't get lucky. That's what it was. Ugh. Come on, come on. It's this way, right? Ouch! I, saw, ah, I got cocky thinking I'd make the jump. Instead, I got a spirit mic for my arrogance. Ouch. <laughs> but tortured dwellings. Six. 
Well, I've been going for about a half hour. I'm going to put a little break in here and play some more. But this is City of Brass. It's really cool. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.